Listen, everybody, to the words I have to say. Better get ready, because the Lord is coming one day. Thank you for tuning in to the Prophet Daniel's Report. This is Daniel White IV, the eldest son of Daniel White III. The intro music that you just heard is my late grandfather, Daniel White Jr., singing a song titled Get Ready. Today, my father, Daniel White III, is going to share with you news and information relating to biblical prophecy so that you can be prepared for the second coming of Jesus Christ. Daniel White III is the national best-selling author of over 20 books, including Just Jesus and The Prayer Motivator. He has spoken in meetings across the United States and in 23 foreign countries, and is the president of Gospelite Society and Torch Ministries International. Now, here's your host, Daniel White III. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Prophet Daniel's Report. This is report number 403, 403. My name is Daniel White III, here to remind you that Jesus Christ is coming back soon, and that you need to be prepared. Uh, you need to get ready, get ready, get ready. This broadcast is not about predictions, nor is it about setting dates, as some people foolishly have done down through the years. However, it is all about preparation. First today, let's look at some signs of his coming in the news. The disciples asked to Jesus Christ in Matthew 24, 3, what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Jesus Christ then went on to give them and us clear signs that show us when we can begin to expect to see the coming of the Lord and the end of the world as we know it. Uh, those signs include, number one, the appearance of false Christs and false prophets, Wars and rumors of wars, famines, pestilences, earthquakes in divers or various places, increased persecution of Christians, the gospel being preached in all the world, signs and great wonders in the heavens involving the sun, moon, stars, and planetary movements. Number nine, distress and perplexity among people. Number 10, increased violence as in the days of Noah. Number 11, increased homosexuality and sexual immorality as it was in the days of Lot. 12, the rise of Gog and Magog, which many Bible scholars believe refers to Russia. Uh, the rise of the kings of the East, which many Bible scholars believe refers to China. And uh, number 14, increase in knowledge, science and technology, apostasy in the church, interest in a unified world government to bring about global peace, interest in the rebuilding of the temple in Jerusalem, and many other signs. And ladies and gentlemen, looking at world events through the lens of the Word of God, let's look at some headlines from today's news that point to the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. First, today under the sign category of wars and rumors of wars, according to Reuters, Russia's top general said that Moscow would retaliate against increased NATO activity near its border uh, as tensions with the Western alliance over Ukraine escalates. Since Russia annexed Ukraine's Crimea region, NATO has moved to reassure its nervous Eastern European allies. Ships and planes have been temporarily deployed to their countries, and military exercises in the region stepped up. The chief general of the Russian armed forces noted these changes and said the intensity the operational and combat readiness of the alliance's troops is being increased near the Russian border. In these circumstances, we have to take retaliatory measures. 
second today under the sign category of wars and rumors of wars. According to the Christian Science Monitor, India is raising a new mountain strike corps of nearly 90,000 soldiers to strengthen its defense along its disputed border with China in the high reaches of the Himalayas. The strike corps uh, will have its own mountain artillery, combat engineers, anti-aircraft guns, and radio equipment. Over 35,000 soldiers have already been raised in new infantry units. Indian Army General uh, Prakash Katak said China has made frequent border transgressions into the Indian border. The new prime minister has to ensure that our borders are well protected. It cannot be business as usual. Third, today, under the sign category of the turmoil in Israel and the Middle East, uh, according to Israel National News, Israeli Air Force Chief Major General Amir Eshel responded to news of major budget cuts in the IDF on Friday and insisted that the Air Force is ready to defend Israel from any threat, especially Syria. He said, first and foremost, we need to worry about air superiority. We need to make sure that our enemies will be destroyed in the event of war. Military officials said that concerns are rising over a possible attack from Syrian President Bashar Assad, whose efforts are heavily backed by Russia and Iran. One official noted that Syrian planes fighting with the rebel forces approached the Golan Heights border on an almost daily basis and said when a plane does cross the border, Israel will be ready to shoot it down. Fourth today, under the sign category of the turmoil in Israel and the Middle East, according to Reuters, the UN Nuclear Agency said on Friday that Iran has sharply cut its most sensitive nuclear stockpile under an interim pact with world powers and has begun engaging with a long-stalled IAEA investigation into suspected weapons research. The findings are likely to be welcomed by the six powers trying to negotiate a long-term deal with Iran on ending a decade-old dispute over its nuclear program that has raised fears of a new war in the Middle East. Iran rejects Western allegations that it has been trying to develop the capability to build nuclear weapons, but it has offered to work with the IAEA to resolve its concerns. Fifth today, under the sign category of Famines, according to weather.com, half of the United States' fruit, nuts, and vegetables are grown in the Central Valley, one of the planet's most fertile growing regions in California. Now, for the first time this century, the entire state is in severe to exceptional uh, drought. Millions of Americans are likely to begin seeing shortages and price increases on produce and other food items as many farms are on the verge of catastrophe with over 30% of their land lying fallow and unproductive. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says in Matthew 24, 7, For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in divers places. You can read these stories in more detail and get more Second Coming related news on our website at secondcomingherald.com. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Prophecy Boot Camp. Prophecy Boot Camp is where we deal with the basics, the fundamentals, if you will, of prophecy, the Second Coming of Christ, and what will happen in the future according to the Bible, the Word of God. Our aim here is not to make predictions but to help you get prepared by understanding how things will unfold 
in the end times. We do believe that the time is short. Our topic for today is titled, Christians Will Be Saved From the Wrath. Christians Will Be Saved From the Wrath, Part 1, from Dr. Tim LaHaye's fine book, Understanding Bible Prophecy, for yourself. He goes on to say, Not only will the year of the Lord's favor, or the church age, come to a distinct end, to be followed by the day of God's wrath, the unfulfilled period of seven years. But God has given his church ample evidence in scripture that it will not go through the tribulation period. The reason is not that Christians deserve to be spared from it, since we don't deserve any of the blessings that God has bestowed upon us. The true reason is that the tribulation period is not for the church. Instead, it is for Israel to fulfill prophecy and for the non-Christian Gentiles to be judged if they refuse to repent and get saved. Anyone who fails to distinguish between the church, Israel, and the Gentile world will have a difficult time understanding most of Bible prophecy. Paul clearly identifies these three major people groups as distinct entities in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 32, where he writes to give none offense neither to the Jews, nor to the Gentiles, nor to the church of God. He goes on to say, The church is made up of both Jews and Gentiles who have spiritually experienced the born-again relationship with uh, him by faith. They have entered into God's kingdom spiritually by faith. And they await the day when they will enter his physical kingdom at Christ's second coming. Those who are in the church are not appointed to wrath or the period of wrath, which is intended for unbelieving Jews and Gentiles. Ladies and gentlemen, if the Lord tarries is coming and we live, we will continue looking at this subject in our next broadcast. In closing, let's consider what God wants you and I to do in light of his second coming. Jesus Christ said, beloved, in Luke 19, 13, to occupy till I come. In light of that, let's look at the topic of serving God in the last days. Part 16 from David Guzik's commentary on 1 Peter chapter 4. Verse 17 reads, Wherefore let them that suffer according to the will of God commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing as unto a faithful creator. Guzik writes, Commit is a technical word used for leaving money on deposit with a trusted friend. Such a trust was regarded as one of the most sacred things in life and the friend was bound by all honor to return the money intact. It is the very word Jesus used when he said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. So when Christians commit their souls to him, they leave their souls in a safe place. God is a faithful creator, and we can give ourselves to him as pliable clay in his hands. So much of the agony we put ourselves through in times of trial and suffering has to do with our disregard of God's faithfulness or of, or of his place as creator. He is our sovereign creator with the right to do with us as he pleases. Yet he is faithful and will only do what is ultimately best for us. Wow, very powerful and very good. Let's pray. Holy Father God, we praise you and we thank you uh, for the privilege uh, to share your word and to hear your word, particularly regarding your second coming. Lord, we thank you uh, because you are a faithful creator. We know that your word is true and that you will come back for us to get us out of this sin-cursed world and in these 
out of these vile bodies. Uh, Lord, for Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us of our sins and our failures and our faults as we, by your grace, forgive those who have sinned against us. Empty us of ourselves and uh, crucify our flesh. Help us to die daily to self. Fill us with the power of your Holy Spirit to love right, think right, do right, and act right, and to do that which is pleasing in your sight, and help us to be faithful until the end. In Jesus Christ's name we pray, and for his sake, amen. Beloved, please remember the words of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in Matthew twenty four forty two. When he said, Watch, therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doeth come. Matthew twenty four forty four says, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. If you are not ready for the return of the Lord Jesus Christ, may I encourage you to get ready today by receiving him as your Savior. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. That is, in hell, but have everlasting life. Uh, Just believe in your heart, dear friend, that Jesus Christ died for your sins, was buried and rose from the dead by the power of God for you. Thanks for tuning in to the Prophet Daniel's Report. Remember, you can stay up to date with prophecy news and events on our website at secondcomingherald.com. If you would like to know more about accepting Jesus Christ as your Savior, what to do after salvation, or looking for a good church home, please visit gospelitesociety.com for more information. This radio broadcast can be heard daily on Live 365, bcnnradio7.com, gospelightworldradio.com, Buzzsprout, iTunes, Blog Talk Radio, and can be downloaded from numerous outlets online. God bless, and until next time, keep looking up for your redemption draw if not. Now, here's a song that will encourage you as you await Christ's return. You got to get your business straight. He's coming again. Yeah.